Law is real, Officer OC. Officer Matt Dyers. All right, today's lesson, uh, we're going to go into alms. Alms, all right, because a lot of people, when they come into this truth, they don't know any longer how to give or how not to give, all right, because a lot of people got good spirits, but they, they don't truly understand what should they be doing anymore. All right, so we're going to go to Romans chapter 15, verse 4. Romans chapter 15, verse 4. Uh-huh. For whatsoever things were written aforetime. All right, so the things that were written aforetime is this Bible. Read. Were written for our learning. Were written for our learning. So that's what we must learn from. All right, we don't go to uh, Joel Austin or T.D. Jakes and get that commentary. No, we must go to the actual source. Read. That we, through patience uh -huh. and comfort of the scriptures. And comfort of the scriptures. Because today we're going to give you that comfort we're giving to a, to a body. All right, because guess what? By the Bible commands that we do. Read. That was it on that one? That we through patience and comfort of the scriptures uh -huh. might have hope. That we might have hope. That one day that kingdom is going to come. Alright. So the first thing we're going to go into is tithes. Alright. We got to establish that tithes are done away with. That we no longer give tithes. Alright. And we're going, to, we're going to tear that lie down. But... With the uh, when we learn that tithes are done away with, now we must find out what does God want us to do now. Does He does He no longer want us to give? All right, let's find out. Deuteronomy fourteen and twenty two. Deuteronomy chapter fourteen verse twenty two. Uh huh. Thou shalt truly tithe all the increase of thy seed. All the what? Increase of thy seed. Read. That the field bringeth forth year by year. That the field bringeth forth year by year. All right, because you must understand tithes, tithes were crops, all right, were crops that were given to the Levites, to the Levites, read, verse 23, and thou shalt eat before the Lord thy God, mm -hmm. in the place which he shall choose to place his name there, uh -huh. the tithe of thy corn, of thy corn, of thy wine, of thy wine, and of thine oil, uh -huh. and the firstlings of thy herds, mm -hmm. and, thy and of thy flocks, uh -huh. so, who today has corn? Who has wine? Who has oil? Who has herds and flocks? Not us, ladies and gentlemen. All right, read. That thou mayest learn to fear the Lord thy God always. Read. Verse 24. And if the way be too long for thee, mm -hmm. so that, that thou art not able to carry it. So if you had a long distance to go and you had to carry all this stuff, this is what God told you to do. Read. Or if the place be too far from thee, uh -huh. which the Lord thy God shall choose to set his name there. Uh -huh. When the Lord thy God hath blessed thee, mm -hmm. then shalt thou turn it into money. So, for this one instance, God said, now you can you can turn in your, your herd, your coin, your oil. You can turn it into money. Let's see, then you say, now go give it to Pastor Polchuk. Read. And bind up the money in thine hand, uh -huh. and shall go unto the place which the Lord thy God shall choose. So now he's saying, go to that place that you are already going. Read. And thou shalt bestow that money uh -huh. for whatsoever thy soul lusteth after. So now you're going to spend that money for whatever you want. Read. For oxen. For oxen. Or for sheep. For sheep. Or for wine. For wine. Or for strong drink. Uh huh. Or for whatsoever thy soul desired. Read. And thou shalt eat, therefore, before the Lord thy God. And you should do what? And thou shalt eat, therefore, before the Lord thy God. So can we eat that new jet that Creflo Dollar wants? Can we eat your pastor's new BMW? No, brothers and sisters. Your pastors are lying to you. This was for a certain time period. This is when we had land. This is when we had crops. This is when we had Levites. Mm -hmm. This was when the law of sacrifice was in effect. Right. Read. And thou shalt rejoice, thou in thine household. Uh -huh. And the Levite. And the what? The Levite. Now, it's funny, because in Christianity they teach that the twelve tribes are done away with. But these crops were given to the Levites. Read. And the Levite that is within thy gates, uh -huh. thou shalt not forsake him. Uh -huh. For he hath no part nor inheritance with thee. Right. And the only reason why we would give to the Levites was because they didn't have an inheritance of land. All right. The most high told them all you have to worry about is sacrifice and you had a little suburb but they didn't have crops in land read at the end of three years mm -hmm. thou shalt bring forth all the tithe of thine increase uh -huh. the same year uh -huh. and shall lay it up within thy gates uh -huh. and the levite because he had no part nor inheritance with thee right so just like we just said they didn't have an inheritance of land they didn't work the field but can your pastor get a job yes read 
and the stranger and the fatherless and the widow which are within thy gates shall come and shall eat and shall what and shall eat you see that the ties were for the body it was never for one man read and be satisfied mm -hmm. that the lord thy god may bless thee in all the work of thine hand which thou doest now go to deuteronomy 12 and 17 let's get further clarification all right because we just read what the tithes and offerings were brothers and sisters it was never money it wasn't 10 percent of your paycheck and if you did have money, you turned it back into crops or into food so everybody could enjoy it. It never went into a slush fund for the pastor. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 12, verse 17. Mm -hmm. Thou mayest not eat within thy gates the tithe of thy corn, uh -huh. or of thy wine, uh -huh. or of thy oil, uh -huh. or of the firstlings of thy herds, or of thy flock, mm -hmm. nor any of thy vows which thou vowest, nor thy free will offerings or he offering of thine hand. So he just said you can't eat this stuff any place you want to. You can't eat it in your hometown. He said you got to eat it in the place that he chose. Read. But thou must eat them before the Lord thy God uh -huh. in the place which the Lord thy God shall choose. In the place which the Lord thy God shall choose. Read. Thou and thy son and thy daughter and thy manservant and thy maidservant, mm -hmm. and the Levite that is within thy gates, and thou shalt rejoice before the Lord thy God, and all that thou puttest thine hands to, unto. So, everybody would enjoy the tithes and offerings. Why are you riding up in a beast? The Bible says that I wish above all things that you would prosper and be in health, even as your soul prospers. I believe that. P. Diddy, Jay-Z, they're not the only ones who should be driving Ferraris and living in large houses. The Bible says that those who sow among us should reap from us. And that's implying that the preacher is to be taken care of. I like being successful. That ain't what the scriptures did. Right. That ain't what the Le that ain't how the Levites were rolled. Read the verse 19. Verse 19. Take heed to thyself that thou forsake not the Levite as long as thou livest upon the earth. All right, now go to Numbers 18 and 20. Go to Numbers 18 and 20. Because we got to understand what the Levites were doing were very special. Everybody couldn't do what they were doing. Read that. Numbers chapter 18, verse 20. Uh -huh. And the Lord spake unto Aaron, Thou shalt have no inheritance in their land, mm -hmm. neither shalt thou have any part among them. Uh -huh. I am thy part and thine inheritance among the children of Israel. So the Levites, like I said before, brothers and sisters, they didn't have an inheritance of land. That's the only reason why we brought them food and corn and oil and, and herds and flock, because they were doing a service. Your pastor does not have that same luxury today. Read. Verse 21. And behold, I have given the children of Levi mm -hmm. all the tenth in Israel for an inheritance uh -huh. for their service. For which, their what? For their service, uh -huh. which they serve, mm -hmm. even the service of the tabernacle of the congregation. You see that? Now let's find out. Where was that place? Because your pastor might say, well, wherever two or three gather, Christ is gathered in it, it uh, is in the midst of them. Let's see what the scripture says. Give me 2 Chronicles 6 and 6. Let's see. Where was that place that we have to be before we receive the tithes and offerings? Because he gave very specific instructions. Very specific instructions. He says you can't eat it within your gates. Read that. Second Chronicles chapter 6, verse 6. Uh-huh. But I have chosen Jerusalem. Have chosen who? Jerusalem. Uh-huh. That my name might be there. That his name might be there, brothers and sisters, in Jerusalem. And this goes even as deep as to the... Um, there's some Israelite groups that, that still make their um, mm -hmm. their members tithe. All right. Thirty percent. Thirty percent. We just read the Levites only got ten percent. Right. So now you 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 triple the amount. You're not doing any sacrifices. So that's just wickedness, brothers and sisters. The tithes and offerings are done away with. All right. So next question: Are we in our land? Are we in our land anymore? Give me Deuteronomy 28 64. Let's figure out: Are we in our land? Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 64 mm -hmm. and the Lord shall scatter thee among all people mm -hmm. from the one end of the earth even unto the other y'all see that we scattered from one end of the earth even unto the other all right now give me Deuteronomy 28 48 
So now we figured out we've been scattered amongst the nations. Now, do we own our own land when we're amongst these nations? Give me that. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. Mm -hmm. Therefore, shalt thou serve thine enemies. Shalt thou what? Serve thine enemies, uh -huh. which the Lord shall send against thee uh -huh. in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things. In what? In want of all things. So we want all things. So no, we don't have our own land. Give me Hebrews 7 and 11. All right, so are we in our land? No. Do we have our own land? No. Are the Levites still the priests? Let's find out. Give me that. Hebrews chapter 7, verse 11. Uh-huh. If therefore perfection were by the Levitical priesthood, uh -huh. for under it the people received the law, uh -huh. what further need was there that in another priest should rise after the order of Melchizedek? Uh-huh. And not be called after the order of Aaron. And not be called after the order of Aaron, the Levites read. For the priesthood being changed. The what? For the priesthood being changed. I told you, brothers and sisters, the priesthood has been changed. There's no more tithes and offerings. Right. Read. There is made of necessity a change also of the law. Read. For he of whom these things are spoken pertaineth to another tribe. Mm -hmm. Of which no man gave attendance at the altar. Mm -hmm. For it is evident uh -huh. that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Out of what? Judah. Read. Of which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood. You see that, brothers and sisters? No longer is the priesthood with the Levites. There is a change in the law. So, now, what do we do? What did our forefathers do when there was a change and when they could not give? Um, their tithes and offerings. Let's go to Tobit chapter 1 verse 3 because a lot of people might say well yeah we in captivity now so now we ain't got to give nothing. The Most High understand we in captivity so he's not going to ask us to give anything to the body. We can't help anybody every man for themselves. Let's see. Read that. Tobit chapter 1 verse 3 mm -hmm. I Tobit have walked all the days of my life uh -huh. in the way of truth and justice and truth and justice. Read and I did many alms deeds. He did what? Many alms deeds. Y'all see that, brothers and sisters? Tobit did many alms deeds. And Tobit was during the time of the Assyrian captivity. Read. And I did many alms deeds to my brethren mm -hmm. and my nation uh -huh. who came with me to Nineveh uh -huh. into the land of the Assyrians. Into the what? Land of the Assyrians. Jump to verse 2, just so we can clarify this for them. We were in captivity and he still was doing alms deeds. Read that, verse 2. Verse 2. Who in the time of Enemesser, uh -huh. king of the Assyrians, uh -huh. was led captive out of Thisbe. Was what? Was did what? Was led captive out of Thisbe. All right. That's just to clarify. They were in captivity and they still gave alms. Now go to Baruch 1 and 6. That's one uh, instance of our forefathers. That's why we read Romans 15 and 4. The things were written aforetime were written, written for our learning, brothers and sisters. All right. In captivity, we still are commanded to do good works. Baruch 1 and 6, read that. Baruch chapter 1 verse 6. Mm -hmm. They made also a collection of money according to every man's power. They did what? Made also a collection of money according to every man's power. Go uh, Jump up to verse 2. Verse 2. In the fifth year and in the seventh day of this of the month, what time as the Chaldeans as took... The who? The Chaldeans uh -huh. took Jerusalem and burnt it with fire. You see that? We were in Babylon. And they took a collection of money according to every man's power. Mm -hmm. So they still were gathering themselves together. All right, now go back to Tobit. Go to Tobit chapter 4. Tobit chapter 4, and we're going to read verse 7. All right, so we understand that we must give. Now we got to understand the benefits, the benefits of the alms. And how to give. All right? Because some people, we have real giving hearts. But the Most High tells you how to give correctly. Tobit chapter 4, verse 7. Read that. Tobit chapter 4, verse 7. Uh -huh. Give alms of thy substance. Uh -huh. And when thou givest alms, mm -hmm. let not thine eye be envious. Uh -huh. Neither turn thy face from any poor. Uh -huh. And the face of God shall not be turned away from thee. Right? When you help out your brother, the Most High looks upon your situation. Read. If thou hast abundance, uh -huh. give alms accordingly. Right. If you got a lot, brothers and sisters, if you got a good job and you, you got a lot of money in the bank, but you see your brothers and sisters are poor, they can barely make it to the Sabbath, you need to give a little more because that's according to your substance. Read. 
If thou have but a little. If you have a little. Read. Be not afraid to give according to that little. So don't be don't be afraid. Hey, I only, man, I only make $50 a week. Well, give, give 50 cents, brother. The most high, he don't care. He says, give what you got. Give that little bit that you got. All right, read. For thou layest up a good treasure for thyself. For who? For thyself. Read. Against the day of necessity. Uh-huh. Because that alms do deliver from death. Alms do what? Deliver from death. Uh-huh. And suffer not to come into darkness. Mm -hmm. For alms is a good gift unto all that give it in the sight of the Most High. Right. Alms deliver you from death, brothers and sisters. That's what you got to understand. All right. Now, go to Sirach 40 and 24. Sirach 40 and 24. So he said, give according to your substance. He said, alms deliver you from death. He said, don't be afraid to give your little. Read that. Sirach chapter 40 verse 24. Mm -hmm. Brethren and help are against time of mm -hmm. trouble, but alms shall deliver more of them both. Alms shall deliver more than them both. So your alms, the Most High will look out for you, brothers and sisters, when you're doing work for him. All right. Now, go to Deuteronomy 16 and 17. Deuteronomy 16 and 17. Because the Most High knows each and every one of our situations. No longer do we have to give a 10% of your, of your offerings. That's not scriptural. But he says, give according to your substance. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 16, verse 17. Uh -huh. Every man shall give as he is able. As what? As he is able. See, this is a law. This is a law. Deuteronomy. These are the books of Moses. Read that again. Every man shall give mm -hmm. as he is able, mm -hmm. according to the blessing of the Lord thy God, which he hath given thee. You see that? Now, go to uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 6. 2 Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 6. So he says, give that which you are able. So this is nothing new. This is a regurgitation of the law. Let's see that that change. Read that. 2 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 6. Uh -huh. But this I say... He which soweth sparingly mm -hmm. shall reap also sparingly. Right. You give a little, you're going to receive a little. Reap. And he which soweth bountifully uh -huh. shall reap also bountifully. Right. Now, don't don't get that Christian mindset in your mind. We're not saying because you gave more that you're going to get a nice car next week. No, we're saying that alms does deliver from death. Right. We're saying that, guess what? At the end, you're going to get the kingdom of heaven. That's the ultimate goal. Reap. Every man according as he purposes in his heart. Right. The same thing we just read. Now go back to Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 18. Because the Most High, he always says give according to that which you are able. Give according to that which you are able. Why does he say that? Read this. Deuteronomy 8 and 18. Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 18. Mm -hmm. But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God. He said you should remember the Lord thy God. Read. For it is he. It is who? It is he uh -huh. that giveth the power to get well. Right. The most high giving you that power. You're not hiding nothing from God, brothers and sisters. He gave you that power to get the wealth. He gave you that power to get the degree, to get the good job, to start your own business. Read. That he may establish his covenant, uh -huh. which he swear unto thy fathers, as it is this day. Right. You see that? Because he understands that the body needs money. So he's going to give some brothers more than others so he can get the body established. That's why he did that. All right, now, go to uh, Sirach 29 and 20. Now, we're going to hit a few scriptures showing you what the alms, the importance of the alms. Sirach 29 and 20. Sirach, chapter 29, verse 20. Uh-huh. Help thy neighbor. Do what? Help thy neighbor uh -huh. according to thy power. So he said, help your neighbor according to thy power. The same thing we've been reading. Read. And beware that thou thyself fall not into the same. Right. Don't give if you don't have it, brothers and sisters, and don't feel bad about it. <laughs> I'm telling you, this, this ain't the Christian church. We're not going to cry for 10 hours trying to get you to give uh, extra $20. <laughs> no, give according to, you, to your power. All right? All right? So we're not the Christian church. We're not going to tell you to keep giving and giving and giving. No. Give according to your needs so you don't fall into that same situation. Give me 1 Timothy 6 and 17. 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 17. Uh-huh. Charge them that are rich in this world. Do what? Charge them that are rich in this world. So, the most I says, charge them that are rich in this world. Read. That they be not high-minded. Right, so you don't think you're better than everybody else. Read. Nor trust in uncertain riches. Right, and you don't begin to trust in your riches. Read. 
but in the living God uh -huh. who giveth us richly all things to enjoy. Now that might not be good enough for you. So we're going to give you an example of what we charge the rich for the betterment of everybody. Give me 2 Kings 15 and 20. Because that's why this Bible is such a beautiful book. That's why he said, the things written aforetime were written for our learning. Because you brothers and sisters that are rich out there, guess what? You are able to help the body in ways that somebody else can't. That's why we all have different gifts in the body of Christ. All right? Everybody doesn't have the same gift. Read that. 2 Kings chapter 15, verse 20. Uh-huh. And Menahem exacted the money of Israel. He did what? Exacted the money of Israel. So he got money together. Read. Even of all the mighty men of wealth. Uh-huh. All the what? Mighty men of wealth. Right. Because what's happening right here, the Assyrians were coming against us. And he needed some money so they wouldn't overtake the whole kingdom. So he got the mighty men of wealth together so they could pay off the Assyrians and everybody would live peaceful. Read. Of each man of 50 shekels uh -huh. of silver to give the king of Assyria. Right. To give the king of Assyria. Read. So the king of Assyria turned back. He did what? Turned back. Uh -huh. And stayed not there in their land. All right. So that's just an example of us charging the rich of the world for the betterment of everybody else. Chapter 3, verse 30. Uh huh. Water will quench a flaming fire. So water will, will, will quench a flaming fire. Read. And alms make it an atonement for sin. And alms do what? Make it an atonement for sin. You see that? Alms make an atonement for your sins, brothers and sisters. I don't know about you, but if there's any way I can, I can get some sins rest away, I'm going to do it. All right? Go to uh, Tobit 12 and 8. Tobit chapter 12, verse 8. Tobit. Chapter 12, verse 8. Uh -huh. Prayer is good with fasting uh -huh. and alms and righteousness. Uh -huh. A little with righteousness is better than much with unrighteousness. Read. It is better to give alms than to lay up gold. So God says it's better to give alms than to lay up gold. Read. For alms doth deliver from death. Alms do what? Deliver from death. Read. And shall purge away all sin. You see that? That's the same thing we just read. Read. Those that exercise alms and righteousness. Now don't be that wicked, brother. You got to give alms and keep the law, statutes, and commandments, brothers and sisters. That's what we're saying. We don't want your money if you're not keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. Because that's going to be a curse to us. But alms and righteousness. Read. Shall be filled with life. Right. Now go to uh, Sirach 17 and 22. Sirach chapter 17 verse 22. Let's figure out. Is the most High looking at these alms? Does he care if you give anything to him? Let's figure out. Read that. Sirach chapter 17 verse 22. Uh-huh. The alms of a man is a signet with him. Is a what? Signet with him. A signet is your signature. So when the most High look at you, he said, let me, let me see his signature. Let me see his alms. What's his alms report? What is the brother doing? And it's not only money, brothers and sisters. It's doing works inside of the body. All right, read. And he will keep the good deeds of a man as the apple of the eye. You see that? The Most High going to keep those things in remembrance. He like, yeah, that brother does a lot of work for the body. Read. And give repentance to his sons and daughters. You see that? Because you, you give alms. Because you do good works, he's going to give repentance to your sons and daughters. So now you're making their lives long. Now you're affecting your family line. All right? Give me uh, Acts 10 and 31. Because you might not think that's true. Man, my arms ain't a signature. That ain't what the most I worry about. Let's see. Acts chapter 10, verse 31. Acts chapter 10, verse 31. Mm -hmm. And said, Cornelius, thy prayer is heard. Cornelius' prayer was heard. Why? And thine alms are had in remembrance uh -huh. in the sight of God. You see that? His alms were remembered in the sight of God. Now go to Sirach 35 and 10. Sirach chapter 35 and 10. So that's an example of Cornelius giving alms. And his prayers were heard because he did good acts. Read that. Sirach chapter 35 verse 10. Mm -hmm. Give unto the Most High uh -huh. according as he had enriched thee. So he said, give according as he hath enriched thee. Read. And as thou hast gotten, give with a cheerful eye. Right. Don't do it if you don't want to, brothers and sisters. Do it cheerfully. Do it cheerfully. It shouldn't be vexing. Oh, man. Dang. Gotta give up this money right now, man. I ain't, I ain't really got it. Well, if you ain't got it, don't give. The most already said that. Don't give it if you don't have it. But if you do, give it cheerfully. All right? Now, let's go to uh, Acts chapter 4 and verse 32. So, 
Brothers are putting forth good works, all right? The body's giving money. So, now, what are we doing with these funds that you're giving to the body, all right? Are we just laying up, uh, building houses, getting cars, getting planes? Let's, let's figure out, what should we do with the alms? What is being done with your alms? Read that. Acts chapter 4, verse 32. Uh-huh. And the multitude of them that believed were of one heart uh -huh. and of one soul. Uh-huh. Neither said any of them that ought of the things which he possessed was his own. Uh -huh. But they had all things common. So we're going to make sure that everybody has all things common. Read. And with great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. Uh -huh. And great grace was upon them all. Read. Neither was there any among them that lacked. Right. This is the level that we're trying to get to. That nobody among us will lack. Nobody will go without food. Nobody will go without clothing. Read. For as many as were possessors of lands or houses sold them uh -huh. and brought the prices of the things that were sold. Right. This is the level that we're trying to get to, brothers. Read. And laid them down at the apostles' feet. At who feet? At the apostles' feet. Why did they do that? Because they trusted that those were men of God. Read. And distribution was made unto every man according as he had need. Right. We want to be able to give to each person according as his need. Give me Acts uh, 2. Acts 2 and 44. Because that's what you're supposed to do with the alms deeds, brothers and sisters. We're going to make sure that everybody within the body is taken care of. Read that. Acts chapter 2, verse 44. Acts chapter 2, verse 44. And all that believed were together mm -hmm. and had all things common. Same spirit, read. And sold their possessions and goods mm -hmm. and parted them to all men uh -huh. as every man had need. Right. And they continuing daily with one accord. With one accord, brothers and sisters, read. In the temple and breaking bread. Breaking bread, giving food one to another, read. From house to house. House to house. Brothers and sisters were inviting each other in, read. Did eat their meat with gladness. With what? With gladness. Uh-huh. And singleness of heart. You see that? Because when everybody is benefiting, when everybody is benefiting, then everybody will be glad and have the same mind and the same spirit. That can't happen when you got this brother over here. He, he's out in the gutters. He's in the slums. He don't know where his next meal coming from. And you living like a Fortune 500 CEO. That ain't what the most I want. All right? We got to be able to help each other. But give according as you have need. Uh, let's go to Nehemiah 13 and 13. Nehemiah chapter 13, verse 13. Because we got to look, we must. It is a commandment that we learn from our forefathers. Read that. Nehemiah 13 and 13. Nehemiah chapter 13, verse 13. Uh-huh. And I made treasurers. He made what? Treasurers. Uh-huh. Over the treasuries. Uh-huh. Shelemiah Shelema, the mm -hmm. priest. Uh-huh. And Zadok the scribe. Uh-huh. And the Levites. Padia, and next to them was Hanan, mm -hmm. the son of Zakor, mm -hmm. the son of Mataniah, uh -huh. for they were counted faithful. These were men that were counted faithful. Read. And their office. And their office, their main objective for the Most High was to do what? Was to distribute unto their brethren. You see that, brothers and sisters? That's the level we got to get to. That's the mindset we got to get to. We can't be niggas no longer. We must learn how to give one to another. To give according to, to each man's need. So we can distribute to everyone. Alright? Give me Ecclesiastes uh, 7 and 12. Ecclesiastes 7 and 12. Read that, brother. Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 12. Uh -huh. For wisdom is a defense. Wisdom is a defense. Meaning, when you have wisdom, you can defend yourself in different situations. Read. And money is a defense. And what? And money is a defense. And money is a defense. All right. Us having money within the body is a defense. Why? All right. Now, we're able to get scoops. All right. So, we don't have to worry, all right, where everybody going to go on the Sabbath day? Now, we can get everybody bodies. We can, we can fellowship with one another. All right. We can, uh, we can get garments for brothers and sisters. A brother loses his job. We can, we're able to support him. Money is a defense. All right? Brothers having legal trouble. When everybody's given a court, guess what? We have a lawyer, and brothers can help him out. All right? Money is a defense. Read. What does it on that one? But the excellency of knowledge is that wisdom giveth life to them that have it. All right? Now, from there, go to Ecclesiastes 10 and 19. Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 19. Mm -hmm. A feast is made for laughter. Mm -hmm. 
and wine maketh merry. Uh -huh. But money answereth all things. But what? Money answereth all things. At the end of the day, brothers and sisters, money answer all things. Guess what? Brother need to go uh shoot down to uh Ferguson. They just had a they just had a big riot. And our people need to hear this word. At the end of the day, you're going to need money to get these types of things done. Alright, because guess what? The uh, the Christian church, Creflo got a got a got a jet. So he gonna be there. He gonna be there spreading his lies. But we can't get the bishop, we can't get the deacons, we can't get them to these places so they can teach our people. Money answers all things. Alright, now go to Tobit 12 and 9 one last time. And uh get uh first Samuel 2 and 3 ready. Alright? Because at the end of the day, brothers and sisters, this is dealing with your salvation. The Most High cares about your works. And alms is not only money. All right? Alms is not only money. That's your works. That's your works. Sister might break bread. Sister might do garments. That's your alms deeds. All right? Read that. Tobit chapter 12, verse 9. Mm -hmm. For alms doth deliver from death. These alms will deliver you from death. I don't think you understand the severity of that. Read and shall purge away all sin. And it purges away all sin. Read. Those that exercise alms and righteousness uh -huh. shall be filled with life. All right, now go to 1 Samuel 2 and 3. Because you learning how you should give, what you should give, the amount you should give, it means zero if you do not apply it in your life, brothers and sisters. It's all about your actions. That's why uh, Paul said, don't be hearers of the law, but doers of the law. Read that. 1 Samuel chapter 2 verse 3. Uh -huh. Talk no more so exceeding proudly. So don't talk about what you're going to do. Hey, I'm finna, uh, I'm finna do this for the body. I'm finna do that from the body. Read. Let not arrogancy come out of your mouth. Uh -huh. For the Lord is a God of knowledge. Uh -huh. And by him, actions are weighed. So God's weighing actions, brothers and sisters. So we pray. We pray that you put these scriptures into effect. All right? And with that, we say shalom. Shalom. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.